These two people are ruining streaming right now. Their names are Neon and Jack Dewar. But if you're not tapped into who these people are, let me just give you the spark notes. <laughs> Alright, Neon and Jack Doherty are two kick streamers. They both mainly do in real life streams, where they basically just go around harassing people to get a reaction out of it. Because they know that people will clip it up, post it on Twitter or TikTok, and most likely it'll go viral. Like, it feels like every single week these two people are going viral. And it always be off of some dumb ass shit. Like, it's either they're harassing people in public, or they be doing this dumb shit where they try to act tough, and try to fight niggas while they're behind their security guard. Like, how much of a bitch can you be, bro? And for whatever reason, every single time, the internet just gives these people what they want and most desperately desire attention and niggas think they're doing a good thing by talking shit about them meanwhile you're literally giving them attention and you're putting money in their pockets so you're actually supporting them but yo cloud aren't you doing the same thing yes nigga, but i'm putting money in my pockets bro i'm not doing this shit for free you had to watch an ad to see this video but y'all niggas just doing this shit for free like what the fuck are y'all doing because i've been seeing a lot of trash content blow up recently like literally the other day, I seen a nigga going viral for putting on a nice ass outfit, going to Target, driving off, going home, putting up the food, and then that's just the end of the video. Like he's literally recording himself doing errand, and people are making this man viral, bro. It make no doubt about it. People are hating on him in the comments, talking about how corny and cringe the content is. But again, by doing that, you're still giving this man views and money. Like you talking about how much you hate his content is blowing him up more. You are literally defeating your purpose. Like y'all did this back in the day with Sneeko, Andrew T. Fresh and fit, EDP, which that was a different case. But y'all do this with rappers too. Like there is no reason why a rapper like Sexy Red should be the biggest female rapper in the industry. But just because y'all was criticizing her music when she popped off, it made her blow up even more. Like that woman literally bragged about her having chlamydia, and little girls are looking at her as some type of role model or some. People over here singing her songs like praises, bro. Like what are we talking about? And with all of this going on, it just kind of shows you why both have been blowing up like crazy recently. Because this era of the internet is literally the perfect environment for them to blow up especially with the type of content that they make and each clip gets worse and worse every single time because they can literally say whatever they want without dealing with the consequences because if that person they're harassing tries to fight back their security will protect them like you can't talk about fighting somebody while you're behind security bro like you just look like a bitch if i try to actually fight you i'm not finna actually fight you i'm finna fight big jamal and his bbc friends that you hired as your security like there was even another situation where neon and his secret service were in a club and he was trying to troll this woman named DJ Sky. Which, by the way, if you know who DJ Sky is, then you should know good and damn well that this is not the person to troll with. Like, this woman is hood, ratchet, and loud as fuck. She's basically an in real life hot Cheeto girl, bro. Like, you do not want to play with her. And on top of all of that, she's literally friends with Krishan Rock. The Krishan Rock. Like, nigga, have you lost your damn mind? What the fuck was this nigga thinking? And surprisingly, she was being very chill with the trolling shit. Like, she was taking the jokes, rolling with the punches, and overall being a chill human being. But then, this nigga Neon had the fucking audacity to say that she stank. And let me tell you right now, she did not take this shit well. She immediately started going off on this nigga. Started cussing him out, calling him a little boy. And she even went to the extent of throwing water on this nigga. Like, she was not playing around. It got so bad that Neon literally left after this whole situation. Like, she was just not going for any of that bullshit. And see, this is what happens when you troll the wrong person. If you're going to troll the wrong person, you better know your limit. But clearly, Neon doesn't understand that shit. Like, I remember, I seen one clip on Twitter. He was out in public on the beach or whatever. And for whatever reason, he was just screaming out, fuck. And a guy close to him had his kids around. So naturally, as a father would, the guy asked to not say those type of words around his kid. What this man decides to do is stop in his tracks, go up to the guy, and then he started to verbally harass this guy around his kid. I'ma play the clip. We got out of there, motherfuckers. Let's go. Watch the language. There's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your kids bro? can't read, what are you though. talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from uh, me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Pause it right here. Right here. You see, this is where he realized he because while Jack was harassing this guy, another guy paid notice. And when the other guy seen what he was doing, he decided to take action. I really can't play the clip for you, but Jack's security step. Their security is a huge reason on why they keep on doing this style of content. Like, there's this one clip Jack was talking to some frat kid. And before the clip, he must have been trolling or harassing them in some type of way. And they asked him to leave and to turn his cameras off. Jack and the frat kid were going back and forth talking about, I'll get my daddy on you, ah. Uh. Jack was talking shit behind 
like three security guards talk about, oh, you won't hit about it. And I will be real, my main problem with this isn't that they're protecting themselves. My thing is, you can't do this type of content and then run behind your security when shit goes wrong. Because, like, let's just be real. Neon and Jack aren't the first people to do this type of trolling content. Like, I mean, plenty of YouTubers do the same type of content that they do. Like, with somebody like Canel Joseph, trolls are harassing somebody a little bit too much. No matter what, he always deals with the consequence. Whether the guy wants to throw hands, whether the guy talks shit, he deals with the consequences and he handles it like a man. They know what they're getting into and they know the consequences and the risk of doing that type of content. A lot of people don't want to be involved in a streamer or YouTuber's content, especially when they're being made fun of. So if you're using that person for content, the least you could do is deal with the consequence of what they'll do to you as a man. But if you're just going to run behind your security, people won't respect that. But again, they know exactly why they're going viral and that's why they keep on doing it. Content creators make a lot of money, especially streamers. Like these two streamers are two of the most popular streamers in the world, bro. They're making hella bread. And hey, if the bread is coming in, why would they stop? I mean, in five years, if they stop making content, they can just disappear from the face of the internet, take their cash, and just enjoy their life. And all of us talking about them is just feeding their pockets more. But what I think they don't realize is how much this process that they're doing is ruining streams. Because I mean, they're making so much money off of doing this. Why wouldn't other content creators start doing the same thing? And once more people start realizing that, then more and more streamers will start doing what they're doing. And this process will lead into an oversaturation of bullshit content. This will truly ruin streams. Because if nobody cares about being entertaining no more, why would people watch these streamers? I mean, there's only so long that you can just watch Outrage until you're just over that shit. What they're doing is purely shock value based content. It's not sustainable. And the more and more people that try to do this, the more and more people will stop watching streamers. And eventually this process will lead to the death of streaming. Now, I could be dramatizing this whole process, and honestly, it may not even be that deep. But you can kind of see the process starting already. I mean, more and more people are making shock value based content rather than good content. And I feel like that trend will keep on continuing until the process eventually happens. And one day, we may be looking back at Neon and Jack Dorn, and we might look at them as the people who started the end of streaming. But who knows? Moral of the video, if you're gonna be a content creator, please, and I mean please, don't do what they're doing. Leave that stupid bullshit to them and make content that you want to make and if people don't like your content then hey mcdonald's is always hiring buddy but besides that that's the end of the video appreciate all y'all for watching follow all the socials as always go cut the brand off brand but besides that i appreciate all y'all for watching you know i love all of y'all thank you and goodbye YouTube family channels are weird. And when you really think about it, they're also very, very disgusting. Like, I can't be the only one who just hates them, bro. You're literally using your kids to make money for yourself. Like, let's just be real. All the profits from the family channel, the kids are never gonna see that shit. And most people are just there for the kids. And then, they're kinda there for you, kinda. You're, 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 you're cool, right? But if the kids weren't there, niggas are not gonna watch a YouTube family channel.